Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot the top five reasons why your dishwasher is not drying dishes properly. Stick around to the end of the video for some important tips on how to improve your dishwasher's performance. But before we begin, we're going to make sure the appliance is unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the water supply underneath the sink. The first thing to check is the heating element. It's what heats up to dry the dishes. The heating element is usually a cowrod type element shaped to fit the bottom of the tub with wire terminals on each end. It's located at the bottom of the dishwasher tub, either mounted right on the bottom of the tub or inside the sump. If the dishwasher isn't drying the dishes properly, it could be that the element has failed. Once you have access to it, we have to test it for continuity. In order to see if the part can carry an electric current, we have to test it with a multimeter set to continuity. Once you have it set, touch the probes together to make sure it's working. Remove the wires and touch a test probe to each terminal on the element. If it doesn't have continuity, then it'll have to be replaced. Also, inspect it for any cracks or bulges that may indicate a problem. If you see any swelling or damage, you should replace it even if it has continuity. If you need to order a part, simply go to AppliancePartsPros.com and type in your model number. Find your part on the easy to read diagrams and match it to the number below. Click on the part if you want to see more pictures of the item or watch its repair video. You can also scroll down to see DIY stories from customers like you or ask a question in the Q&A section. Once you're ready, you can add the part to your cart. It's that easy. Most orders will arrive within two business days. The next thing to check is the high limit thermostat. It's a safety device that shuts off the power to the heating element if it gets too hot. The high limit thermostat shuts the power off to the element if the temperature of the dishwasher goes above its rated temperature. They're usually a small round thermostat with two wire terminals, but some older models use a fuse. It's usually mounted to the bottom of the dishwasher. If it fails, the element won't come on and the dishes won't dry properly. Once you have access to the thermostat, we have to test it for continuity, remove the wires, and touch a test probe to each terminal. If you don't get a reading, then the thermostat is bad and will have to be replaced. Now we can check the main control board. It controls the functions of the dishwasher. The main control board is a computer board that collects data from all the sensors and switches of the dishwasher and controls the various functions. They're usually mounted in the control panel. If the dishwasher isn't drying the dishes properly, it could be that the main control board has failed and isn't sending power to the heater. There are many different designs of main control boards out there, so we can't show you how to test them all here. You'll have to grab your tech sheet and follow the steps to test the board. In this example, you'll have to enter the diagnostic mode and follow the steps to verify that power is being sent to the element. If during the test you discover that power isn't being sent to the element, the board will have to be replaced. As always guys, hit those like and subscribe buttons now to help support us making more of these videos. Now we can look at the active vent it opens to allow the hot air to vent out of the dishwasher. The active vent opens during the drying cycle to allow proper air circulation so that the dishes dry. They usually have a plastic body and a wax motor to open the vent. The active vent, if your model has one, is usually located in the control panel or behind the dishwasher's front panel. You can see the vent holes on the end of the control panel. If your dishwasher isn't drying the dishes properly, it could be that the active vent has failed and is an opening to allow proper circulation. Inspect the vent to make sure it's not damaged or stuck shut. If it looks okay, we'll have to test the wax motor for ohms. So set your meter to ohms. Our meter automatically detects whatever ohms are coming in, but you may need to set your meter to read the proper ohm level. You'll have to grab the tech sheet to see what ohms the wax motor should have. In this example, it's 600 to 1800 ohms. Remove the wires and touch a test probe to each terminal. If you don't get any reading, or it's out of the range specified, then the wax motor is bad. Most active vents are sold as complete assemblies that have to be changed out, but if the wax motor is sold separately and the rest of the vent is good, you can change just the motor. Last thing to check is the touchpad, to what you use to select and start the cycles. The touchpad is what you actually press on to make the cycle selections, then it sends the information to the main control board there have been many designs over the years. They're usually glued to and sold with the control panel, but some are sold separately. 
They're usually located on the front or top of the control panel. If the dishwasher won't dry the dishes properly, it could be that the touchpad has failed. The contacts inside the touchpad can fail, preventing it from communicating with the control board to turn the heating element on. Because there are so many different styles of touchpads, we can't show you how to test them all here. You'll have to get the tech sheet for your model and run the diagnostic test. If the touchpad fails the test, it'll have to be replaced. Now here are those performance tips we mentioned earlier. If your dishes aren't getting as clean as they used to, or there's a funny smell coming from inside, it could be that you need to do some regular maintenance to your dishwasher. First, make sure the water temperature is correct. Most manufacturers recommend the water to be around 120 degrees Fahrenheit to clean properly. You can also run the hot water in the sink until it comes out hot to clear out the cold water in the lines before you run the dishwasher. It's important for the spray arms to be clear of dirt and soap residue. Clogged spray arms can prevent the water from spraying out as intended, causing your dishes to remain dirty after a cycle. Simply take a small nail or toothpick and check all the holes on the spray arm. If any are clogged, make sure to clean them out. Be sure not to use anything that will deform the holes. It's important to inspect and clean your dishwasher's filter as well. A clogged filter will prevent the water from cycling through the dishwasher properly and could prevent the dishes from getting clean. Make sure to clean off any residue on the interior walls and gaskets. Also make sure to use a cleaner such as a fresh or glisten on a regular basis to help keep everything clean. Keeping everything clean will allow the water to flow properly and clean the dishes better. It will also reduce stress on the motors and pumps since they won't have to work as hard. Once you take care of the problem, you can plug the appliance in Turn the water back on and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another troubleshooting video brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons now. And if you have any questions or want to share how your repair went, leave a comment down below.